In this video, I'll be sharing multiple tips for using P3 Mobile. This is a good video to watch if you're just getting started in P3 or if you need a refresher for how P3 works. The first tip is utilizing the offline mode feature. P3 works great in both online and offline mode, but we suggest if you have an unstable internet connection or a Wi-Fi only device that you go into offline mode. Once you're in offline mode, any inspection that you complete will be saved in the top left corner of your dashboard until you return to an internet connection. When you connect to the internet, you will disable the offline mode and click Send Unsent Inspections Now to send the inspection to the P3 database. The second tip is using the sync button in P3. This button can only be used when the mobile device is connected to the internet. The sync button will update your P3 app to ensure any new accounts or containers are available on your device. The third tip is logging out and logging in to P3 Mobile. It's important that you log out at the end of each day and log in with a good internet connection each morning. Similar to the sync button, this will ensure any new accounts or containers that have been added to P3 are on your tablet. It will also ensure that your tablet is updated with the most recent version of P3 so that you have any new enhancements or new functionality that we've released on the app. If you have any trouble logging in, you can click on Forgot Password. This will send you a text message or an email with a new temporary password. The fourth tip is using the inspection progress bar. Depending how you hold your mobile device, the inspection progress bar can be found at the top of your screen when you begin an inspection or on the right-hand side of your screen when holding your device horizontally. As you go through each inspection, you'll notice the color of the dots will change. When a section has been completed, it'll be green. Any section that hasn't been completed yet will be red. You can use the inspection progress bar to jump ahead in the inspection by clicking on the section you wish to fill out. You can also click on the Add New button to add to an existing section, for example, adding another type of equipment, or you can use the red X to remove anything from the inspection. The fifth tip is using the back button and continue button within P3. The back button in Chrome will bring you back to the P3 mobile dashboard rather than bringing you back to the previous section of the inspection. To go back to a previous screen rather than backing all the way out of the inspection, use the blue back button in P3. The continue button basically acts as a save button. As you go through the inspection, clicking continue ensures the fields you've entered have been saved. Even if you exit the inspection or go to a different section, anything you had filled out before pressing continue will be saved. The sixth tip is taking advantage of the mobile professor. This tool can be found throughout all P3 inspection types. If you get to a field that you feel unsure of how to complete, you can click on the small question mark provided next to each field for more information and guidance. If you have any questions about these tips or other P3 questions, please reach out to the P3 team.